I just don't even know how you got up there. <laughs> I'm Jacob. I'm Mackenzie. And this is Study Time's Level 1 Maths Top Tips. Unfortunately, Mackenzie was writing the notes in the roof, so now we're going to have to go find them. Well, I'm going to have to go find them. Oh my god. <laughs> Where'd you even get that? Shut up. This one? Y yeah, yeah, definitely. So our first standard that we want to look at is quadratics. So for this one, we want to know all the three relationships that we talk about. So this is our quadratic relationship, whether that be our vertex or our quadratic form of a parabola, our linear form, and our exponential form. Now for each of these, they have like a base equation and all of these relate to key features on the graph. And it's understanding how these parts of the equation relate to the graph. Now this entire paper is going to be about going between tables, equations and graphs. You're going to be presented with one of them and you're going to have to figure out how to put that in the form of another. That is the essence of the paper and if we can do that, we'll be fine in this course. Our next standard is geometric reasoning. Now for geometric reasoning, we always want to focus on our basic trigonometry, which is our Sokar Toa, our Pythagoras' theorem, and also bearing in mind that we can invert our Sokar Toa to find our angles. Now, a big part you're, of... You're going to fall. I don't listen to scaremongering tactics by teachers, all right, Mackenzie? Now, a big part of this paper is to do with those long questions, <laughs> treating it like a fill-in-the-blank exercise. Uh, in those big questions, we're not going to know what's going on, really, but we will be able to find out some stuff. So we need to focus on what we do know and work through a step-by-step -step process to figure out that end answer. Our last standard is chance and data. And for this one, we really want to nail down our probability trees. And we have to know when we want to multiply and when we want to add to find the overall probability. What can also be really helpful for this standard is knowing the overall contextual basis of what's going on and thinking of it in the real life context. That can be really helpful in shedding some light on what's really going on. Okay, this And is that being... is level one math top tips from study time. If you want more information, go onto our website and look at our walkthrough guides.